Howdy do, fella kids. It is the professional procrastinator here. And welcome back to another video. And well, today we're doing something just a little bit different. Today we have the 2020 Hammerhead LE150. And Freedom Power Sports just started carrying these things. And I walk in. I see two used Ducatis, but then I also see this, and I went, that one. <laughs> because, well, I'm a buffoon. And today I'm going to go on a thorough tour of the Hammerhead. I'm going to show you all of its quirks and features. <laughs> uh, Daddy Doug, please don't sue me. And then I'm going to, well, I'm not going to get out on the road and drive it, but I'm going to take it around uh, this parking lot. <laughs> I can start off the quirks and features by just going around and pointing out every single place where it either has a picture of a hammerhead or where it just says hammerhead and oh boy obviously up there on this uh, old cloth top you got hammerhead that's a given of course you got to have one right here on the side here's where it starts to get interesting you got hammerhead in gold right there on the engine because you know you're, you're more classy than not having gold on the engine. I don't know. Then you got a hammerhead off-road right there above the steering wheel. And in just in case if you didn't see that, you also have hammerhead right here on your steering wheel. And then you just got a heck ton of them over here on your old dash. And what I find the most bizarre place for a hammerhead is the darn tire tread. If you look closely enough, they're hammerhead sharks like not just these right here along the side but the tread themselves because <laughs> you can see the fin here and then it it's it's interesting and i i think it's kind of a cool little little feature which makes you want to have to actually pay for the same tires once it comes time to replace and for those who don't know the hammerhead is made by polaris and it is a much cheaper alternative to a Polaris Razor. I wouldn't say it's a alternative, but more so a cheaper option. Well, they are made by the same company, but this one, it does not have an age limit, which means an old buffoon like me can ride one of these. And even one of the employees that works here, who is 6'4", said he can comfortably fit in one of these. But if you still think that this would be too much for your kid, they do make the little hammerhead torpedo which is considerably smaller but this one they won't outgrow for a good little bit because with it having a 150 cc or well really a 149 cc uh engine it has enough power or well they're gonna have a blast on for quite a number of years and if they are just starting out on learning how to drive one of these, you can uh, put your own uh, speed governor on there because right out of the box, these will do about 45 miles an hour. And I don't think you want your little kid doing 45 miles an hour. Well, right away at least. And these don't come in at a hefty price. At only $3,400, you could walk off the lot with one of these and have fun for years to come. All right, and with all that out of the way, we're gonna hop in this thing. I feel like I'm I, a, a little over the top with old riding gloves, but a scout is prepared. Okay. And it's got seat belts even a buffoon like me can figure out. I say that because you have one of these clicky things to buckle into this weird looking thing. And well, to crank it up, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Maybe it isn't very self-explanatory. <laughs> All right. You turn and well, it has electric start, which is nice. So you don't have to pull start your kids go kart every single time that they want to go ride it and as far as driving goes that's even self-explanatory on the on the gas pedal you have go and on the brake well you have stop and 
they have a special little protective <laughs> covering over the brake reservoir, which I find pretty funny because most people, you know, do one-footed driving where you go from the gas to the brake. But if you do that here, you're just going to press on, well, something that isn't a pedal. So you're going to want to use both feet. All right, so let's get this thing uh, cranked up. This thing is carbureted, <laughs> so you're going to choke it until it calls you daddy, and then you're going to crank her up. You probably don't even hear it, because this thing is relatively quiet, but it is running. And well, to get going, you ha here you have your old e-brake, or handbrake, in case if you wanted to do a drifty boy. Uh, just kidding. You would probably roll it, and with my luck, I would roll it. But we're going to not do any drifty boys, because, well, for one, these tires, well, they're, um... Uh, they're not designed for old drifty boys, and then also, uh, with my track record, I would roll it, because my, my dumbass likes to roll side by sides. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the old e-brake, push that thing down. It's pretty self-explanatory, then right here it's in, it's in neutral, you push it forward, well, to go forward, and then you're good to go. So like I said earlier, obviously I can't take this out on the road. So I'm gonna put around this parking lot and give it a couple rips once it's once it's warmed up at least. I mean I might not be very tall, but I'm like five foot ten. And I sh sure I have my knee hanging out, but I can put it in, but I more so have it there for comfort. But I guess it should be up here since I can't w drive this thing one footed. That guy was staring at me. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. What do we got over here? I guess the safest place to give anything a rip would be behind the building, right? You would think. Oh, uh, looks like I'm gonna be trapped. Oh, uh, these old vans are blocking me in. So, here's a good opportunity to check the turning radius on this. And I don't think I am gonna make that. So, just for a lap it in a reverse. And then in the drive. And punch it. I mean, you will get to 45 eventually, but it's not gonna snap your neck getting there because, well, of course, it's, it's only got nine horsepower. Oh man, the looks I'm gonna be getting. Hi Karen. Chicken man. Do, do you think he's the chicken man? Is he a chicken man or is he the chicken man? I mean, I'm asking the real questions here. Let's go behind buildings again. I feel like this isn't wise, but I mean, oh, what else you gonna do? Uh, there is people. I was gonna turn around, but um, <laughs> oh, I feel the judgment. I can feel it. I'm flat out. I'm flat out. Ah! Uh, there was 21 miles an hour. One could say I was theoretically hauling ass. I am being extremely cautious because I don't need no Nissan Sentra coming and T-boning me. Eh, semi-scary. I'm darting away from it. Man, I wish there was somewhere relatively cool I could take this right now to kind of test its abilities. It's not going to be as able to go places as some of the other, like, four-wheel drive things because, well, this is, this is only rear-wheel drive. All right, I'm going to take one more large loop around before the old uh, police are called on me. I can't imagine they would. But there are so many in the area today that uh, I would can't say I'd be too terribly surprised. But obviously right now, I'm not in its ideal environment in an Aldi's parking lot. Obviously, its most ideal environment is... Oh, what is what is this Honda doing? Well, obviously, its most ideal environment would be uh, not, in, not in Aldi's parking lot. I'm going to go around this Honda. Obviously, the most ideal place to have one of these is, well, on your property if you have some acreage. If you don't, 
if you don't have some acreage, then um, you, all you could really do is just drive it up and down your driveway. F flat out. And then I'm gonna park it. This dude's taking a picture of the old monkey here. And then I'm gonna back it into a parking space because I'm classy. And then the old e-brake thing here. And then it's as easy as that. All right, Mr. Jixer, we can't all be cool like you, okay? Overall, if I had a kid, I'd get them one of these because it's not going to break the bank too much and it's really safe. Well, the reason why I say that is because you have a five point harness and for, <laughs> which is kind of insane for something that only has nine horsepower, but safety is of utmost importance. Well, obviously you got here a roll cage and um, my dumbass always is in need of a roll cage but all right with that being said i know today's video is just a, a little bit different <laughs> but that is when we start wrapping up today's video hopefully you enjoyed this a little bit more of a different video <laughs> if you did be sure you show some support by dropping a like if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button and most importantly be sure you hit that booty I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.